Not long ago, I began to receive emails and tweets on my Twitter machine telling me that there is a new version of my favorite radio, a GMRS version of the Boof Huang UV5R. And yes, Boof Huang is the correct way to pronounce it. Boof Huang. I know this is a fact because I met a guy on the internet whose parents are Japanese and they confirmed that the correct pronunciation is Boof Huang. Boof Huang. So please, for the love of Xenu, stop leaving comments telling me that I'm pronouncing it wrong. Anyway, I dismissed these fanciful tales of a new GMRS version of the UV5R because the Boof Huang Corporation has already been making GMRS versions of the UV5R for quite a while. They're called the UV5G, the UV5X, and the GMR5. Those are all GMRS only versions of our beloved Boof Huang UV5R. And as any foo knows, the Boof Huang UV5R is a ham radio. It cannot be a GMRS version of a ham radio because no such thing exists. But as more and more people tweeted on me about this new mythical version of a GMRS flavored UV5R, something very unusual began to occur. I began to doubt myself. And I, being the double mega alpha Chad that I am, I am not accustomed to doubting myself. So I went on to my Amazon machine and after 10 or 15 minutes of browsing through photos of women wearing shoes, I found something that changed my life. A new Boofwang UV5R that is FCC's Part 95 approved for GMRS. But I had questions. And these are the questions that I will answer in this video. Number one, how can this be a GMRS radio and still be called a UV5R? Because calling it a UV5R would be like putting cheese on a hamburger and still calling it a hamburger. Number two, why would Boof Wang call it a UV5R when there is already a UV5G, a GM5R, and a UV5X? Is this new radio different from those GMRS radios? And C, does this new GMRS flavored UV5R do GMRS and ham? And number five, and most importantly, does this new GMRS flavored UV5R have a Roger beep? My friend, hold on to your wet radio dork panties because I am going to answer all of those questions and more. The price for this new Boof Huang, Boof Huang GMRS flavored UV5R is about $26. And if you very carefully examine the more information section of this video, below, you will find an affiliate link of which you may click on to purchase one for yourself or to read up on the technical specifications of this new GMRS flavored UV5R. And just to be clear, Boof Huang did not send this radio to me for free. I paid for this particular Boof Huang UV5R GMRS flavored radio myself with the monies that I collected from my supporting YouTube channel members. Those are the people that clicked on the join button below. So when you purchase this new GMRS flavored Boof Huang UV5R in the box, you will receive a user manual over 50 pages long, and it is actually very well written. No Chinglish. However, it does have a few fibs, which I will talk more about momentarily. You will receive 
this handsome, powerful, yet sensitive belt clip for fixing to the radio, thusly allowing you to affix the radio to your belt or pantaloons to impress the chicks. You will receive this very stylish wrist strap for fixing to the radio, thereby allowing you to affix the other end to any appendage upon your body of which you choose. You will receive this earpiece clip with a push to talk button. This is standard issue on all Bufwang UV5R type radios and you will probably break it within the first 30 minutes of its use. You will receive a battery charging cradle as well as the matching battery charging plug. One end goes into the holes that you find throughout your home. The other end goes to the matching plug on the charging cradle. You then insert the radio or just the battery portion of the radio to send electricities from the wall through the wire into the battery for charging purposes. You will receive this battery, an 1800 milliamp hour battery, standard issue on the Bufwang UV5R type radios. You will receive an antenna which affixes to the radio, thusly allowing you to squirt RF electricities out like a laser beam to whoever you're speaking with. And you will receive the new GMRS flavored Bufwang UV5R. As you can see, it is virtually identical to this older standard flavored UV5R. Same buttons, same case, same stickers. As a matter of fact, the only difference that I've been able to find between these two radios is the color of the sticker and this GMRS sticker, indicating that this is the GMRS flavored Bufwang UV5R. And in my extensive testing of this radio, I can confirm that out of the box, this new Bufwang UV5R GMRS flavored radio operates just like any GMRS radio. It does not behave like a standard flavored UV5R. It comes pre-programmed with the 22 GMRS channels and eight repeater channels. And it has all of the power and bandwidth restrictions built in on the FRS restricted channels. And as far as I can determine, it operates just like every GMRS handheld radio that I have ever used. And just as with all high-end GMRS radios, this radio does have a Roger beep. And allow me to also point out that after thorough testing, I can declare that this radio has just as many FARs as any GMRS handheld radio that I have ever tested. The power output is slightly less than 5 watts on most channels, which is normal. And I am able to hit my favorite repeaters at 30 miles and 69 miles away. And most important, I was able to talk with my friend Conrad, also known as the chef. I was able to talk with the chef who was using his base station radio on simplex. That means direct radio to radio, no repeater. I was able to talk to him at his house 13 miles away. And for additional deconfoculation and hopefully to avoid any unnecessary stupid comments, my house is located atop the hills overlooking the slums below me. So I have very good line of sight to both those repeaters and the chef's house. In other words, your FARs will vary. So let us not lose sight of the fact that this radio transmits and receives pretty much the same as any handheld GMRS radio I have ever tested, and I have tested all of them. As I mentioned only moments ago, the user guide is very well written in very good and quite possibly perfect English. However, also as I alluded to moments ago, the manual does contain a few fibs. 
mostly fibs about things that relate to the FCC restrictions that, according to our FCCs, should be on all GMRS radios. For eSample, page 6 says, The UV5R radios ship from the manufacturer keypad locked per FCC rules. However, I can declare that mine was not locked when I extracted it from its packaging. But the radio does appear to have the other restrictions as required by our FCCs for GMRS radios and the manual... Oh, oh, oh. I almost forgot. The manual says that you cannot change the power or bandwidth on the restricted FRS channels and that channels 31 through 127 are receive only, which was true when I first took the radio out of the box, but after connecting the radio to my computer and by using the Chirp software, I was able to program all of those channels for whatever I wanted them to do, including setting those restricted FRS channels to wideband and high power transmitting on business frequencies, ham frequencies, and even NOAA channels. And Chirp allowed me to save those channels back to the radio with no errors or warnings. However, I was not sure if the radio would actually allow me to transmit on the ham frequencies, because as many of you are aware, I do not have a ham radio operator's license. So to confirm if the radio would actually transmit on the ham frequencies that I programmed into the radio using the free Chirp software, I drove over to my friend's house that lives about an hour away who is a licensed ham operator so that he could test the radio for me. And in return for him testing the radio for me, I promised him that I would mention his little YouTube channel. His name is Josh and his YouTube channel is called Ham Radio Crash Course. So if you watch any of his videos, be sure to tell him that not a Rubicon sent you. He can use all the views he can get. So my ham radio licensed friend Josh was able to confirm for me that the radio does indeed transmit on those ham frequencies. And then Josh told me to leave. He said I was creeping out his kids. And as soon as I got home, I remembered that I could have legally tested the radio myself by just connecting it to a dummy load. So as you can see, not only does the radio transmit on the ham frequencies, putting out about four watts, by the way, it will also transmit on private business frequencies and even on the NOAA channels. So as we can see, the difference between this new GMRS flavored UV5R and the GMRS only versions, such as the UV5X, UV5G, or GM5R, is that this new GMRS flavored UV5R radio can transmit on GMRS and other frequencies, whilst those radios like the UV5G, UV5X, and GM5R can transmit only on GMRS frequencies. And the difference between the new GMRS flavored UV5R and the plain flavored UV5Rs is that the GMRS flavored UV5R is type accepted for use on GMRS. And unlike many of the new plain flavored UV5Rs, this one appears to be unlocked, which no doubt will make our FCC very sad. Now, as many of you are aware, my YouTube channel is widely known as the largest and most influential GMRS radio channel on the entire YouTubes. And we know for a fact that many FCC employees watch all of my videos. Thusly, by the transitive property, we know that they are watching right now. So I am sure that now that I have exposed this radio for apparently violating all kinds of radio certification guidelines, the FCC will take action and send the Boofwang Corporation a mean letter sometime in the next three or four years. So if you want a new GMRS flavored Boofwang UV5R, take your time because there is no rush.